Getting personalized answers from LLM seems to be a bit tricky because numerous times LLMs hallucinate over extended conversations or they do not have enough context to answer questions properly. Good evening everyone, this is Mridul Swaroop, a developer advocate here at Vulture. In this tech talk, we are going to understand what is RAG and how can we leverage Vulture serverless inference to build context-aware RAG chat systems. RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation is a framework that combines retrieval mechanisms and text generation. Instead of relying solely on models built in knowledge, it pulls relevant information from external data sources like documents or databases. This approach enhances the model's capability to understand context in a much better way, leading to more relevant and accurate answers. RAG also supports large-scale models designed to improve the relevance of generated answers by ensuring they are based on the most latest and accurate information. RAG can also be applied in wide variety of real-world use cases. For instance, it can be used in a question-answering systems where retrieving accurate information is crucial. It also shines in document summarization and search, allowing users to retrieve key insights quickly. Beyond that, RAG can also generate personalized content by incorporating specific knowledge bases into the response generation process. It is also perfect for expanding knowledge bases by seamlessly integrating new knowledge bases and automating customer support services, providing more accurate and relevant responses. When using RAG in practical, there are a few key steps involved. First, we need to create collections within a vector store that will allow us to store embeddings. Embeddings are mathematical representations that will make the retrieval easier. Then, we will generate embeddings from the data that we need the model to understand. Once we have that, the RAG system retrieves the relevant information, making sure that the model has all the relevant data. Finally, we will be integrating our RAG with an API such as Vulture Serverless Inference, ensuring that there is seamless connection between our RAG model and the system, resulting in personalized chat experience. Next up, we have a demonstration in which we will be deploying a Vulture server and creating a Vulture serverless subscription. We will be looking at the different endpoints offered by Vulture in serverless inference. After that, we will be creating a RAG pipeline which will help us to create real-time chat experience. For the first steps, we will head on to the Vulture customer portal and provision a Vulture server and create a serverless inference subscription. So let's go to my.vulture.com I'll click deploy a server. The server type, I have chosen optimized cloud compute. For the location, I am choosing the one near me. For the image, we are going to choose the latest Ubuntu OS. For the plan, I will be needing at least 8 GB. And here I'll click deploy now. Meanwhile, when the server is creating, we can go ahead to the serverless section and click inference. Here we'll click add serverless inference, provide a label. Acknowledge the charges and click Add Serverless Inference. So our serverless inference subscription has been created. Let's explore the different endpoints. So here we can see the usage stats uh, of how many tokens we have used, what is our monthly cost. So let's go to Prompt. Here we can prompt any model which is listed in the Vulture dropdown. We can also manipulate some parameters such as max token, C, temperature, top K and top P. You can just write a prompt and click prompt and you will receive an answer. In the chat, we can 
actually have a chat with the model of our choice from this drop down. In the chat we have been provided with the parameter of max tokens which we can adjust according to our preference. We also have text to speech where we can type a text and it will be converted to speech. For the models we have the bark and the bark small, small model. In voices we have multiple choices to select what kind of a voice we want. Do we want a female voice, a male voice or any other language. For the embeddings endpoint we can create embeddings by typing in a text. These embeddings are mathematical representation that a model needs to understand what is written in the text. For the embeddings we also have multiple models. We also have an encoding format that is base64 and float. Let's check if the server has been created. So our server is running. The next step is actually head to a terminal, connect our server with SSH and try out the different API endpoints provided by Vulture and try out the turnkey RAG functionality to build personalized chat experience. So the first step is to create a collection item in our vector store. So here I will be sending an API request, a post request to our vector store that the collection item should be named infer. Please remember to create an environment variable of your serverless API key. This key is available on the overview page of your serverless inference overview page. So as you can see, the collection has been created. So the next step is to verify that the collection is now present. Now I'll be sending this API request, which is a get request and it will get all the collection that are created right now. So as you can see, our collection ID infer is present. That means our collection item is ready to store some information which we are going to give next. Now I'm going to be sending an API request to create a collection item in the vector store. In this collection item, I'm giving the model some information. Recently, Virtual collaborated with AMD. The announcement was made on September 25. This is a recent date and it tells that this data is not yet available with the model. So we'll test if the model is able to reply back with the date when asked. So as you can see, our collection item has been created and we have been provided with an ID, all the information regarding that collection item, including the number of tokens and the prompt tokens. Next, we'll be prompting the model and asking the model when was the announcement of Vulture collaborating with AMD was made. If the model replies back with the date of 25th September, that means our RAG personalized chat bot is working. So let's send the request. Here as you can see, I am sending a POST request. Here I am using the LAMA27 billion model, our role is user and I am asking when was the AMD announcement made. In the API request, we also get to manipulate some of the parameters of max token C, temperature, top K and top P. So let's send the request and see if the model knows when was the announcement made. As you can see, the model has replied back and it is saying the AMD's announcement was made on 25th of September 2024. This proves that our RAG pipeline is working. This is how you can incorporate RAG, utilize Vulture serverless inference to make personalized chat experiences. Thank you all for joining this tech talk. I appreciate your time and presence in learning about RAG and Vulture serverless inference. If you'd like to follow along with the command instructions used in the demonstration, you can find a detailed article link in the description box of the video. Thank you again. I hope to see you in the next one.